Quintana coming to you from the Beehive. A few days ago, I showed you how to make these three nugget favors. Today, I'm going to show you how to make these bride and groom favors using the custom tea bundle. This bundle consists of the custom tea stamp set and the t-shirt builder framelits. If you purchase both of these together as a bundle, you can save 10%. These bride and groom favors are just adorable. They each hold one Hershey's nugget and they would make the perfect favors for a wedding or shower. So why don't we get started and I'll show you how to make them. To start off with, we're going to be making the wedding dress. So you'll need your Simply Scored scoring board and you'll need a piece of Whisper White cardstock. And I've cut this piece to six inches by two and one eighth inches. I'm going to put one of the long sides up at the top of my scoring board and I'm going to score at the two and a half inch mark, the three inch mark, and the three and a half inch mark. Then you're going to need your Big Shot and I'm going to be using the magnetic platform and I've already got one of my cutting plates down on top of it. Then we're going to take the piece of cardstock we just scored and we're going to fold it along the middle score line. So we're going to ignore the other two score lines and we're going to fold this piece perfectly in half. And then I'm going to make sure the open end of this piece goes through the big shot first. Then I'm going to take the smaller of the two t-shirts from the t-shirt builder framelits and I'm going to put the top of the t-shirt towards the open end and so that it will go through the big shot first. Let me hold this up to the camera so you can see it a little better. So the open end of the cardstock piece is going through first. The top of the t-shirt is going through first. Then you're just going to make sure your piece is centered and straight on the rest of the piece of cardstock. Then when you take your second plate, you're not going to put it on the normal way covering the entire thing. We're going to put it on such that it omits the bottom of the t-shirt so that we won't cut this bottom piece of the t-shirt. Let me show you how to do that on the big shot. I've got my platform down here and now I'm going to scoot my second cutting plate through the big shot and I'm going to rest it right on top of the framelit but making sure that it doesn't cover the bottom of the t-shirt die. Then I'm going to roll it through. And this is what it looks like. The thinlet has cut through both layers of the cardstock and now we just need to cut it away from the piece. With this particular t-shirt, the bottom flares out and so we're going to follow that flare to kind of create the look of a dress. So I'm just going to angle my scissors such that it meets the side on an angle and then I'm gonna go ahead and cut it. And so you can see it's coming away from the cardstock piece. And I'll do the same for the other side. So just kind of angle your scissor up like that to meet the cut of the t-shirt and then just cut it all the way through. And there you have your dress cut away from the outside. Now to make it more like a wedding dress, we're going to emboss this piece. So to emboss the dress, we're going to need the Big Shot. This time I'm going to use my regular platform and it comes in two pieces, just the platform and the thin die adapter. Since we're embossing, we don't need the thin die adapter. And then we're going to need one of our cutting plates down. I'm going to be using the Boho Chic embossing folder and I'm going to take my dress and I'm going to open it up and then we're going to put it in on the side. And it looks best if the pattern is symmetrical and is lined up. So I'm going to take one of these little V's on the side and kind of line it up so that it hits my dress at the same point on either side. Then once you like how it looks, just kind of keep a finger on it while you put it onto your platform. And notice there's just enough clearance to get it through on the side here. And then you take your second cutting plate and put it on top and then we're just going to crank this through the Big Shot. And this is what it looks like. So we've got the piece embossed and now I just need to find the score line. We're going to ignore the middle score line now. We no longer need it. I'm going to find those other two score lines and I'm going to fold my piece along those. Let's just kind of look, they're still there below the embossing. 
And then I'm going to prep a Hershey's nugget right here. I'm going to turn it to the back side and I'm going to take some Terran tape and run it along the bottom of the nugget, tear it off and then remove the liner. Then we're going to place the Hershey's nugget in between those two score lines like that. If you like at this point, there's a little bit of extra cardstock that will appear right here. You can just trim that off with a pair of scissors, but you don't need to, it's whatever you like. And then we're going to take some Tombow and I'm just gonna put a little bit right up along the neckline and I'm going to bring those two pieces together. Make sure they look good on both sides and then just hold that together for a few seconds so the glue has a chance to set up. And then just as a finishing touch, we're going to add some pearl jewels. And the pearl jewels come with these strings of pearls on the side right here, so we don't have to add them each individually. So we're gonna need about seven pearls for the neckline. So just count over until you count to seven. And then just put a little cut through the pearls so that you can split the string. And then I'm just gonna peel these off with my fingers. And then I'm just going to add them to the neckline of my dress, like that. And now the wedding dress is done. Isn't it cute? Now we're going to make the groom. So you're going to need your Simply Scored scoring board again, and you're going to need a piece of cardstock. I'm going to use Knight of Navy cardstock. Black is the traditional color for a tuxedo, but when we stamp black on black, it tends to lose its definition. So using a dark color other than black might help you see the detail a little bit better. But whatever color you use, you'll need to cut your piece to five and a half inches by two and a half inches, and you'll put one of the long sides up at the top of your scoring board, and we're going to score at the two and a quarter inch mark, the two and three quarter inch mark, and the three and a quarter inch mark. Then you're going to need your big shot again. I've got my magnetic platform down here and then one of my cutting plates. I'm going to bring in the cardstock piece that I just scored and I'm going to fold it in half along the middle score line so that it folds perfectly in half. We're going to ignore the other two score lines for now and I'm going to place this piece such that the open end of the cardstock goes through the big shot first. Then I'm going to take the larger of the two t-shirts from the t-shirt builder framelits and I'm going to place it so that the top of the t-shirt goes through the big shot first. Let me hold this up so the open end of the cardstock is going through first. The top of the t-shirt is going through first. Make sure that the rest of the piece is straight on the cardstock and then the cutting plate will not go over the entire piece again. It's just going to rest right above the bottom of the t-shirt so that it omits the bottom of the t-shirt so that part won't get cut. Let me show you how to do that on the Big Shot. So I've got my platform down with my t-shirt piece and I'm going to scoop my top cutting plate through the Big Shot and I'm going to rest it on top of my framelit but I'm going to make sure that it doesn't cover that bottom piece of the t-shirt framelit. Then I'll place my thumb on here just to hold it for a second and then I'll start cranking it through. Then here's the cut piece and it's cut through both layers of the cardstock and now we just need to cut it away from this outer piece. This one's really simple. I'm just going to start cutting up from the bottom along the side of the t-shirt. So just make a snip going up. See how that's releasing? I'll do the same for the other side. Snip from the top. This outer piece can be thrown away and then you're left with this piece like that. Now we need to do some stamping. So I'm going to open up this piece and I'm going to take my Knight of Navy ink pad then I'm going to take this stamp. It has the lapels and the front of the dress shirt. And I'm going to ink this up in my Knight of Navy ink. And I'm going to stamp this just below the top of the neckline. So just make sure it's centered and stamp it just below the top. Like that. And I'm just going to hold this up to the camera so you can see it better. See, it's about an eighth of an inch below the top of the neckline. Then I'm going to switch to Smoky Slate ink 
and I'm going to need a scrap piece of Whisper White cardstock. We're going to use the same stamp again, so make sure you clean it off before you stamp with it again. I'm going to ink this up on my Smoky Slate ink pad. I'm just going to stamp it down like that. Then while I have the Smoky Slate ink pad out, I'm also going to ink up this little collar stamp and I'm going to stamp it also down on my piece. Then we need to do some die cutting. So I've got the piece that we just stamped and I'm going to need this piece right here which will cut out my collar. And I'm also going to take a scrap piece of silver foil sheet and put it down on here. And I'm going to use my little bow tie die to cut out a tie. Let me put that on there. We don't have a thing to cut out the front of my shirt but I'll show you how to do that in a moment. Let me run the collar and the bow tie through first. So I'll put my second cutting plate on top and then I'll run this through. Here's the collar and here's the bow tie. Okay, now we just need to do some creative cutting to bring this all together. To start off the cutting process, I'm going to cut away this dress shirt from the lapels. So I'm just gonna cut a deep V into my t-shirt. So I'll start at the top. I'm just going to follow the line along the lapels and come all the way down to the bottom. And then I'm going to come in on the other side like that. I think this will really make it look like a tuxedo, like that. So you can see the lapels are left on either side of my suit. Then the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off the sleeves on the back side of this piece. So not the front side where I just cut the V, but I'm going to cut the sleeves straight up. So I'm just going to cut right along here and flip over to the other side and cut right along the side like that. I know it looks a little funny right now, but trust me, it will look good in the end. So then we just need to cut this piece out and this piece, you don't really have to do a perfect job in cutting it out. You just need to cut roughly around the outside like this and then come around and cut roughly along the outside like that. Then all you need to do is put some Tombow along the lapels. And then we're going to tuck this behind the V we just cut earlier and line this up. Take just a moment to make sure it looks good. And once that looks good, just glue it down into place. And then we can cut off the excess cardstock up at the top. I'm just gonna take my scissors and just kind of round it out like that. Then we can take our little collar piece and I'm just going to put Tombow at the bottom of this collar piece, not the top, because the top is going to stick beyond the top of our t-shirt piece, so we don't want Tombow up there. And then we're just going to add this to the top of the suit, like that. Then. To do the little bow tie, I'm going to do a few little folds on the bow tie to make it look a little bit more like a bow tie. I'm going to take my thumb and I'm going to cover the side of the bow and the front knot of the bow. And I'm just going to fold up so I'm folding along what would be one side of the knot. I'm going to take my other thumb on the other side and fold up the side on the other side. I'm just going to give some definition to that knot. So can you see that? I've kind of created some creases along what would be the knot. And then I can take the sides of the bow and kind of crimp them in together like that. So I'm creating a little bit of a, a line down the sides. So it just gives the bow just a little bit of definition. I think you can see that right there. Then we're ready to glue it on to the front of our suit. I just need a little dot of Tombow or if you like, you can use a mini glue dot. And I'm just gonna add that like that. Now originally when I made this suit, I made it just using the t-shirt die and the t-shirt die just has short sleeves and I just couldn't wrap my head around short sleeves for a tuxedo. So what I did was I created some little arms to go on there. Now it's a separate piece, it's not all one piece, but I think it actually looks quite good. So I'm going to show you how to extend the arms a little bit. 
So I'm going to make myself a little template and it looks like this. I'm going to take a piece of cardstock for the template and I've cut it to half an inch by one and a quarter inches. On the half inch side, I'm going to make myself a mark one quarter of an inch over. And then on the side, I'm also going to make myself a mark one and a quarter inch down. And then I'm going to connect those two dots with a line like that. Then I'm going to measure one eighth of an inch over on the bottom, put myself a little dot. Then I'm going to connect the dot on the side to the dot on the bottom. I know this is a little tedious, but once you have this, you'll be able to use this template for your other pieces. So I'm just going to draw a line up like that. So then what you need to do is you just need to cut away those lines and that will give you the template for your extended arms. So now we need to use the template. So we need two pieces of Knight of Navy cardstock and I've cut each of these pieces to half an inch by one and a quarter inches. And then we're just going to match up the template with our Knight of Navy piece. And I'm going to use a white colored pencil to just draw my lines on here. I'll do the same for the other one. Use the template to draw on there. And then we just need to cut along the template lines and do the same for the other one. Like that. So now we just need to arrange it for gluing. So I'm going to take my first piece I'm going to put a dot of Tombow at the top and a dot of Tombow at the bottom. This angled piece on the side is going to come straight up and down. So I'm angling it like this and I'm going to put it on like this. So again you can see that little side piece is going to become the arm as it comes down and it's just going to tuck behind the suit like that. And so we'll do the same thing for the other side. Put a dot of Tombow at the top and a dot of Tombow at the bottom. This little piece right here that's angled is going to be straight up and down. So then you're just going to bring it in. I'm going to just angle it like that. And now our suit has long sleeves, yay! Now we just need to fold this piece along the other score lines. Again, we're going to ignore this middle score line. We no longer need it. So just find the other score lines and fold along those. Then you're going to grab a Hershey's Nugget and we're going to need the bottom of it. Then you'll take some tear and tape and put a length of it along the bottom like that. Take off the tear and tape liner. Put your Hershey's Nugget at the bottom between the two score lines. And then we just need to take some Tombow and put it along the neckline on the back here. And then just bring your front and back piece together. Probably this time it's easier to look at it from the back. Make sure it's aligned. And then just hold it down for a few seconds so it adheres together properly. And there you go, the groom favor is done. And here are both sets of the wedding favors. Didn't they turn out wonderfully? And the great thing about these is you can make them in whatever color you want and customize them to your liking. All the supplies that you'll need to make these bride and groom favors are available for purchase on my blog. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Bye for now. If you like this tutorial, be sure to check out all the free with purchase tutorials available on my blog. The Hershey's Chicken and Egg tutorial is just one of the exclusive tutorials that you can choose free with a minimum purchase in my Stampin' Up! store.